Hello friends. Today's video is made on popular demand by few of my subscribers. This video is part 1 of the sequence of steps to teach reading. It will take you through the steps in which sounds and words should be ideally introduced to make reading easy and stress-free. Welcome to Happiness Mantra. Do like and subscribe if you like the video and find it helpful. Now when we want to teach reading to children the first thing that they need to know are the phonic sound of all the letters Initially the 26 letters should be introduced with their phonic sounds and not their combination with capitals So they should not be taught a says a the children should quickly know that this is a this is b k and so on So need, they need to identify the letter and know the sound of the letter. Next we go on to the long letter sound of the vowels which means that they need to know a e i o u. Besides knowing them as a e i o a which is the short sound of these letters children should also be aware of the long sounds of these letters then we go on to the cv vc and the cvc words so we'll have words like on an off go to and of course the cvc words of all the five families so we'll have the at we can have the e e o and the a uh, family so three letter words of all the five families children should be familiar with this of course the entire set so they should know the at the an the am words same goes for the e and the e and o and a uh, family once they are very comfortable with three letter reading three letter words then we move on to the blends now here often i suggest that sight words should be introduced in simple terms as in maybe you can start with five sight words i have videos uh, in the sequence earlier where i've even mentioned what kind of words they can initially start with so that they can start reading short sentences for example the cat is fat because ultimately our goal is to make them read sentences and paragraphs and comprehension so uh, uh, from words the faster we switch to sentences the easier it is for them to get more fluent then we move on to the blends which is the initially i prefer doing the ccvc blends which means family of bl cl fl gl pl and sl So here the words which would come in would be probably something like blot clap flag glum plot slip and many more words of course this is just a very simple representation but all the words possible with these particular set of the cv blends which is with the l after this we come on to the br kr dr fr gr pr sr and tr okay so here we would have words like um, brat crab drop frog with gr we can have something like a grim prim trap and many such words so this should also be clear to the children and once they are reading the three letter words progressing from that to this is quite simple just remember when they are reading these words they should not say barat or crab 
it should go brat crab it should go as a blend not separately like darop farog it should not be like that just be careful when they are reading these words next we have the sk st skum sm sn and the sp family so we can have words like scum star skid smug snap spun stop and many such words which can come in this family with this blend finally we have the dw sw and the tw so we can have words like swim twin with dw we can have dwell but it would be a five letter word so i'm not mentioning it here right now but there are words with dw as well so once the children are com- comfortable with all these blends which was basically the cc and the vc blends the next set would be the end blends now here what we have done so far are the beginning blends because we have the sounds the blend sounds in the beginning of the letter of the word now we come on to the end blends in end blends these are all the blends which come at the end of the word we start with the c v c c blend which would have a lot of words like sand bank must dusk sing sent left so the word list is endless there are tons of words which the children will come across once they are reading the idea is that they should be familiar with these words and how to read them once again i'll emphasize that don't make them read it as sand bank nothing like that it has to go in a flow so sand bank help and many more words like this now there are certain words where the blend in the blend the first letter is not very prominent for example a word like calm now the l it is not calm or something like that it's calm now what happens here is that the l is not silent because otherwise the word would be cam k a m is cam but we have the l in between so it is calm we have warm we have burn these also refer to the bossy r concept which i'll take up later but for now if the children are reading it then this sound needs to be flowing through their mouth so it'll be warm burn hurt and so on bomb so again the m was not very prominent we don't go bomb right after this we go on to the floss rule or the double uh, double f, double s and i've also included ck because it's a very important blend and follows basically the same rules and i have a whole video separately on the floss rule as well as when to use k c ck and the differences between them completely but here i'll just quickly uh, add in a few words here dwell fits in and we have half with f and we have less and words like that with ck of course we have duck we have lick and many more words so the children must be familiar with the end blends initially with four letter words and then we'll also move on to the cc vcc so that now they're going to be using blends in the beginning as well as in the end of the word so they'll move on to five letter reading very easy transition 
it is not difficult at all examples common here would be scarf and then we can have blank we can have scold crept scorn stamp climb and of course many many more words i cannot have a exhaustive list here the video would get too long um in case you're enjoying the video do comment below and let me know if there's any other sequence that you normally follow because this is not like a, a hard and fast rule but this is what i usually follow with children and i find that they pick it up relatively easy Yes of course a couple of things can go uh, front and back for example some people prefer to introduce the digraphs ch sh th w and f before they introduce the blends that much of mixing and matching is completely okay as long as the child is comfortable you can teach it in any format that you want so when we do words like this we have the beginning sounds so we'll have words like chip shop thank and that now why i have mentioned both is that i prefer to introduce both sounds of th which is th and the together so that it's easier for the children to identify and believe me as and when they read and the more that they read the easier it becomes it gets into a flow they don't really have so they will take it in a flow and the reading becomes automatic they will not have to think every time that they are reading the word but of course initially just to make things clear to them it is essential that we introduce everything correctly with wh we would have words like what when with ph we have words like phone but uh, obviously it's not a four letter or five letter word and it is also a concept of magic e so we'll come on to that later we also have these digraphs which come towards the end of the words i prefer introducing that together and of course uh, here i'll just like to mention that we also have longer words which considering that they have done the earlier segments they can easily read so you know words like chill chimp shell think these are all words which they can now start reading comfortably in the end we'll have four letter as well as five letter words so we could have words like much wish with crush which is five letters bath which is with the complete th sound now once this is done remember uh, parents very very essential for you to constantly keep updating them with the sight words it's essential because like i had mentioned earlier reading is done in sentences and in sentences lot of extra uh, words and lot of sight words would come where none of these simple rules would commonly apply so children need to learn those as well finally we come on to twin doubles i recently did a video on this as well so we have the e sound so we'll have words like tree b and seed keep so the long sound a, a together is e now with double o we have two sounds which are there one is the short u and then we have the long u so we'll have words like book look hood with the short u sound with the long u sound we'll have words like fool moon spoon bigger word like cartoon now at this point you can easily start making them read words even as big as this because they'll read car and tune and just combine it into cartoon 
and of course a quick mention once again sight words and short sentences need to be introduced in fact they can even start reading three or four sentences together and understanding the meaning and the comprehension behind it comprehension of language is very very essential we'll i'll continue in the next video the part 2 will have all the other remaining factors which will contribute to a complete and wholesome reading experience happy reading happy teaching